Hello, darling. Do you have the time, please? It's Beer Monster O'Clock. What's happening, guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, on my next review for you, we've got the Golden Champion. Uh, it's by the Badger Brewery. Um, comes in, oh, from Dorset uh, Brewery. Uh, it's a bit of a close up for you on the bottle. Uh, comes in at 4.5% ABV. Um, <coughs> it's a golden owl. Um, I've not tried many of these, uh, if any, at all yet on this channel. So, yeah, looking forward to giving this one a go for you and letting you know what I think. But, dum dum dum, it comes in a clear bottle. So are we going to get that typical skunkiness that you can sometimes get if you're unlucky from the sunlight bouncing through the bottle? And I'm really hope not because um, that will completely ruin it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know where to find that. And uh, that's the cracker open, I suppose, isn't it? Um, this came in, uh, I picked this up from Tesco's and the price point on this was £1.90 a bottle. Oh, I can smell that skunkiness. Oh no, um, it was in a three for five pound deal in Tesco's or one pound ninety if you just buy the one. I just bought the one, uh, there you go. Yeah, um, <laughs> I could really smell the skunk uh, aroma rising up through the bottle as I opened that. And, oh yeah. It literally, to me, it smells like somebody's walking past you with a big fat spliff and you get that waft, <laughs> you know, when you get that waft. Uh, anyway, enough about big, big fat spliffs. Let's get this in the glass, shall we? I didn't sniff it out of the bottle. Well, because I've just got the, uh, the skunk aroma, so I didn't bother carrying on with that because I need to get it out of the bottle quick and uh, hopefully lose a little bit of that skunk uh, sort of aroma that you get when the beer's been slaughtered by the uh, sunlight. Uh, that looks a lovely, um, clear, golden colour to me. Um, as the name suggests, I suppose, the uh, the golden champion. That's uh, definitely golden, but is it going to be a champion? Let's get the old uh, snout in there and hopefully some of that skunkiness is passed. Yeah, it's not, it's not so bad now. I can still smell it a little bit. Might be hard to pick anything up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fading. Very mild aroma. Aroma. Uh, smells a bit floral to me. Uh, and a bit hoppy. It's a very mild aroma on this one. Um, yeah, not much. And, uh, Hopefully it doesn't taste like skunk as well. Bottoms up, cheers guys. Uh, I'm gonna get some of this down my neck and let you guys know what I think. First go, do I like it or don't I like it? I'm not gonna think about any of the flavors and all that sort of thing. Cheers. I like it. There is a bit of skunkiness still in there. I'm going to try and ignore that. A bit different this one. I say I don't think I've tried a golden owl yet since I've been doing the reviewing. It's quite nice, guys. Just think about what the flavours are. Although they do taste quite light on the flavours. Let's, let's uh, go in again. The main thing for me is the floral notes I'm getting with this one. It's really quite pleasant to be honest with you. And different. I've not tried many beers with the floral sort of uh, notes in yet. So um, yeah, I've only been doing this just over a month. So yeah, I've not come across many of them. But this is actually quite nice. The sand, the thought of floral notes to me, I wasn't sure whether I'd like the idea of that. Um, Oh, it's quite nice, and there is a bitterness in here as well. Hmm. 
the bitterness and the floral sort of taste blend together quite well to give it like a different kind of bitterness because that floralness just sort of sticks around and lingers with the bitterness well it doesn't really linger for long but it is quite nice it's quite um slaughterable you can uh, smash this quite easily 4.5 percent abv as well so it's a, kind of a good strength for a session uh beer uh so yeah i'd say this is very sessionable quite refreshing as well actually <clears throat> Getting um, a little bit of a peppery spiciness to it as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm rather enjoying it, guys. I was fearing the worst when I first cracked it open. I must admit, because that, oh, that wafted from the skunkiness. Oh. It, it, the skunkiness is still there. I might have to try this one again another time. Maybe I can find it in a can or something and maybe do it again. It's not completely ruined. I can still tell it's nice and I'm enjoying it, but I, you know, I'm trying to ignore it, but it is there. Uh, I can't taste any other, any other flavors personally. Um, yeah, so that's got to be about it. Um, by the way, I don't think I mentioned the carbonation levels. Uh, it's quite uh, slow carbonated, a uh, low carbonated with slow moving bubbles, but it feels more carbonated when you drink it. Anyway, one more go, it'll give me a score out of 10. <sighs> I'm gonna have to judge this for what it is. It is a clear bottle, and that's a big no-no with beers. I am reviewing this out of a clear bottle. I will hopefully review it out of a can, or just some sort of different bottle. And when I do do that, I think this will get a very good score, because I can tell that it's nice. But this particular one, out of the clear bottle, has been ruined by the skunkiness for sure. Really has uh, messed it up score-wise. I'm going to have to give it a six, which is a shame. Because I believe without that skunkiness, this could probably get an 8, maybe an 8.5. But I can only review what's in front of me. Uh, so it's a 6 from the Beer Monster, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you've got any beers you'd like me to try and get hold of and review for you, let me know in the comments, guys. Um, let me know what you think of this. Um, <clears throat> if, if you can get it out of a can or anything, uh, let me know, guys, and I will look out for it. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you want to help me out and help my channel grow. Because uh, we are new here. And uh, we don't have uh, many likes and that and uh, subscribers, so every little bit helps. If you've enjoyed this review, please consider subscribing. Check out some of the other videos. And um, got any tips for me or whatever, because I'm learning on every video, let me know. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, see you on the next one, yeah? Bye-bye, Alex. -bye,